right, you guys, this is a big week. We are doing lesson 11, which is the end of unit assessment, okay? I'm gonna help you through this whole thing, but I just need you to stay with me. All right, so again, our unit essential question for, throughout this entire unit has been, why do people act heroically? That's the question we've been trying to answer in our graphic organizers, in our readings, in our assessment questions. So we're gonna continue to answer that question during our assessment. So the text we've read so far, we've read If We Must Die, How Jackie Robinson Changed Baseball, Theseus and the Minotaur, The Underground Railroad, The Woman Who Helps and Frank Dies at 100. Um, this one is The Story of Ida B. Wells and Sonnet. So that is two poems, four informational texts, and one myth. The myth was Theseus and the Minotaur. So lots of content here. You guys are only going to have to write about three of all of these, okay? So you're not writing about every single one, just three. The topics we've explored are advocacy, equality, gender, strength, suffrage, bravery, heroes, heroism, rights, racism, discrimination, and equality. So the purpose of this assessment, why are we making you um, do this assessment during distance learning? Well, really it's to demonstrate your understanding of the unit essential question. So to let us know that you understand why people act heroically, to provide an opportunity to synthesize, which is like summarize your comprehension of multiple texts, provide feedback on writing skills you've worked hard to develop. So Mr. Longo and I can give you feedback on your writing skills. Um, to continue to practice the literacy skills that we need to be stronger readers, writers, and critical thinkers that will prepare us for next school year and beyond. You guys are so close to being eighth graders, which is crazy. Um, and it's also good that we're practicing this now. Next year is going to be challenging and you're going to have to really prepare yourself for high school. So pushing you to do these essays and this assessment in this way is going to prepare you for next year, which will ultimately prepare you for high school. And we're getting really, really close to the end of the school year. So the task, what are you going to be doing? Here's the prompt. You're going to be writing an essay just answering this prompt. So I'm going to read it to you now. It says, over the course of this unit, you've gathered details from literary and informational texts about heroes. Use the evidence you've gathered to answer the question, when do people act heroically? Support your answer using reasons and evidence from a variety of the texts covered in this unit. So the main question you're trying to answer in your essay is when do people act heroically? You're just trying to answer that question. All right, so here's what you're gonna be doing. You're writing an essay answering this prompt. Um, you're going to write an introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion paragraph. You're going to use an outline to help you write your essay, and that's going to be done by Wednesday. And then you're going to transfer it to MLA format, and that has to be done by Monday. Now, we've done this before in class where you guys have written on an outline, and then you've transferred it to the essay writing. That doesn't take that long. It's just the typing that takes a little while. But basically, whatever you write in your outline is going to be on the essay. All right, so here's an example of what I need for you from your outline. Here's what the outline is going to look like that I made for you. Here's just the introduction paragraph, though. All right, so your hook. We've talked about hooks before. It's something that people get confused by or they don't really know, and that's because I can't give you a sentence starter. You have to be creative to create this. Your main goal with your hook is to interest your reader. You can do this by giving a quote, um, by telling, asking a question, or by telling a story. You need background knowledge. This is just one sentence explaining anything your reader needs to know before reading your essay. So anything you want to tell them before they read it. So if they didn't know anything about the text you were reading, what do you have to let them know? And then your thesis statement. You want to say exactly what you're going to talk about in your essay. You have to make sure your thesis statement is in the order that you're going to write your essay in. Um, you also have to use the sentence starter that I'm giving you in this outline. You can't go off on your own. I want you to use the sentence starter that I'm giving you. So here is an example of a introduction paragraph that I wrote. And I'm just trying to give you the simplest, simplest version of the introduction, just so you can see the bare bones of what it looks like. If you guys want to make this a little bit more fancy, maybe go a little bit more in depth with the background knowledge for your own, you can. Now, I used Harry Potter, and I'm going to use Harry Potter um, as an example for the introduction, body paragraph, and conclusion, just to show you guys exactly what I would do if I was writing the same essay with the same prompt, but using only Harry Potter as my text. 
So here's what I came up with. I used a quote to start as my hook. It says, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow up to be. Harry Potter shows us what it takes to be a hero in the seven part series about his life. So that's my background knowledge, super short and simple. It's just telling them it's a series about Harry Potter's life. Um, people act heroically when they put their life at risk for a friend, treat their enemies as equals, and choose to sacrifice for the greater good. So this is my thesis statement. Now we automatically know my thesis statement, what my paragraphs are going to be. The first paragraph is gonna be about how people act heroically when they risk their life for a friend. The second paragraph is gonna be about how people treat their enemies as equals. And the third paragraph is going to be about how people choose to sacrifice for the greater good. So that already lays out what the essay is going to look like. All right, for our body paragraphs, here's what your body paragraph is going to look like in the outline. And you're going to write three of these. Now, each body paragraph is going to be basically just a CER. You're going to give your claim about how, how people act heroically or when they act heroically. You're going to give your evidence from whichever text you choose. And then you're going to do the last one, which is going to be the reasoning, where you're going to have two sentences. So just a CER three times. So the, each body paragraph needs to be about a different common lit article and um, when those people or characters choose to act heroically. So let's say for the first body paragraph, you want to choose sonnet and how um, that person acts heroically in that poem. Or maybe you want to choose Ida B. Wells. Then that whole paragraph would be about how Ida B. Wells acted heroically in that article. Okay, here's my example. I said, people act heroically when they risk their lives for their friends. If you remember in my thesis statement, that was the first paragraph, when they put their life at risk for a friend. And that's what I talked about in this first sentence. It says, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, it states, no, Harry, listen, we are coming with you. This shows how Hermione was willing to risk her life to help Harry in his mission. Therefore, people act heroically when they put their life at risk for their friends. So if you can tell that the first sentence and then the therefore sentence that both introduces the topic and it closes out that topic so that we can go to the next one. You want to make sure those are kind of similar. This reasoning, I'll admit, is kind of weak. I would expect you guys to make maybe a little bit more reasoning, maybe one or two sentences of reasoning, maybe just give a little bit more analysis to it. But I just wanted to show you guys the bare bones just exactly um, if you had to do the least amount of work but still do exactly what I asked this is what it's going to be just this one sentence this shows how Hermione was willing to risk her life to help Harry in his mission just kind of explaining the quote and how that proves the claim okay now the next one um, this is your conclusion paragraph last paragraph you're going to put your original thesis into different words which is what I say what I mean when I say restate the thesis you're going to summarize your main ideas, and then you're going to leave the reader feeling inspired because of your essay. That's the main thing you want to leave your reader feeling inspired after reading your conclusion paragraph. So again, I used the example of Harry Potter, and I said, people act heroically when they risk their lives for friends, act as though their enemies are equals, and sacrifice for society as a whole. So I took that original thesis statement, and I just put it into different words here. And then I said, it is important to show others how, how to act heroically, and Harry Potter demonstrates this in these beautiful ways. We can take lessons from this fictional hero and attempt to be more heroic in our own lives. So just kind of wrap it up, make them feel inspired to go act heroically in their own lives. All right, so I'll remind you guys that these um, are going to be all based off of the common lit articles that we've read. You're not writing about Harry Potter. I just use that as an example. Um, you're only going to be writing about the text that we've read, and you're just going to have to use three of these. So not all of them. You're just using three. Each body paragraph is going to be a separate text. I'll show you what that looks like here on the essay outline. So over here is what your essay outline is going to be that all of you are going to get and be assigned and it's due this Wednesday morning. So it has the prompt here for you. And then it says you must use three of these texts. All of these texts are going to be linked to the text on Common Lit. So if you decide like, I wanna talk about Jackie Robinson, you click here, it'll open this. And then if you're signed in on Common Lit, it'll automatically take you to this text. If you're not signed in, you might have to go ahead and sign in real quick once you click on it. But you can just click on whichever one you want and it'll bring you right to it. If for some reason that doesn't work, maybe the iPads are different, I don't know, um, then you can just go to Common Lit and look up the article and pull it up that way too. 
And then you're going to write this directly into your into the outline here. So however you want to start this, you know, Jackie Robinson says whatever you want to write, you're just going to write that straight into here. And then I do want to point out that for my sentence starters here, you're you're going to have to erase this line. So I just put the line here so you know you have to write three separate things in the sentence starter. But if you know what you're going to put, people act heroically when you delete this, they blah, 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 blah. So just make sure that you have erased that line so that it looks nice and clear. And then body paragraph, each paragraph is about a different article. So maybe this one's about Ida B. Wells. And then this one is about Jackie Robinson. This one's about Sonnet, however you want to do it. And then your conclusion goes here. And that's all you got to do by Wednesday. I think you guys can totally do this. I don't think it should be too terribly hard. But I do know writing essays is challenging. And usually I'm there to help you guys through it completely. And we spend a whole week in class doing it. So I get that if you guys are having struggles, what those struggles may be. Um, for office hours this week, we are going to be asking or answering questions that you guys may have. We're not going to be exactly going through the essay with you because it's your assessment and we want to make sure that you tell us what you know instead of us kind of telling you what to do. So we'll be there to answer any questions you have. If you're confused at all about the essay, if you want to run something by us, maybe you want to read it to us and we can give you um, examples or help you make it better, anything like that. That's what office hours will be used for this week. And yeah, just make sure you guys do this by Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, you'll be transferring that over just to MLA format and I'll have another video for you on that on Thursday to make sure you understand how to do that as well. All right, you're gonna do great. I'm excited to read all these essays. They're gonna be so good. Um, I think that this is gonna be one of the best essays you guys have written because it gives you the most freedom to talk about whatever you want. All right, have a great day, you guys. I will see you soon. Come to office hours. Bye.